Thank you. Thank you very much. Been a big week around here. Guess the big news, a tragic story over there in Mercer Island last weekend. Yeah. Guess parents hid the Easter eggs for the big hunt and the kids immediately retained counsel and sued for mental anguish. Sad. <laughs> You read this, woman trying to get more trees planted along the side streets in uh, Ballard. That's what Ballard drivers need, huh? More targets to aim at. <laughs> Back on the way over here, I drove past the Evergreen State College. Boy, now I know how you become a deadhead, huh? You major in it at Evergreen. It's the only school in America where you get credit for dropping out. And over in Kent, of course, town is thrilled. They're getting a new county jail. Kent's very excited, but the inmates are rioting. They're thinking of suing for cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> you know that. Oh. Uh, Jay, what, what's what's going on? Oh, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. Thought this was... uh, you know, under the new NBC contract, I host all late night programming. Anything past eleven is mine. Well, this was. I say, well, was, I understand. Was, was it's going to be hard on you. So, why don't you uh, get yourself a little something? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure, but. Be right back. Uh, you know, I know that I know the show really well, good, so I, I, I'm sure that I could help you out. Is there anything that I could that I, that I could do for you? What, you know, uh, like? Yeah, two sugars is great. Okay, two sugars. Two sugars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then get one for yourself. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Jay Leno, ladies and gentlemen. Jay Leno, how about that? Well, well, looks like I guess I'm going to need a new job in about a month. Uh, so, I guess, I guess I could be a gypsy moth sprayer. That's, that's, <laughs> you know, that's big business these days. There are planes, uh, right now, I imagine, spraying South King County, Pierce County. They don't, they don't want to alarm the citizens, but they're telling them to take precautions. After spraying, they're supposed to wash their cars comb out their sideburns, you know, take, take off their caps, shake them off a little bit, and anyone with hair teased out more than 24 inches across is supposed to stay indoors. So I'm guessing there's, there's not going to be a lot happening down there for a few weeks, although the people in Fife are pretty happy. They think a little spring ought to freshen the town right up, so, which is good. Or maybe I could, get a, I could get work down at Hanford. You might know that the economy is booming down there because of the cleanup. And now, how, how exactly do you clean up a nuclear waste dump? I mean, wh where do you put it then? I mean, wh wh where do you put it? it? It seems to me that Hanford is like your dorm room in college. You know, it's like <laughs> when you got to clean stuff up, you just move stuff around when you got to clean it. You got a girl coming over to your dorm room, you get everything in a pile and drape that flag <laughs> over it or something. You know? <laughs> I bet that down at Hanford, that's what they're doing. They're just throwing plutonium under the bed, is what I, is just what I guess. You know, I, I guess I've got to get a job to fill up all the free time I'm about to have. And, you know, you really don't have too much free time in life. We were just looking at one of those books that tells what the average person does in a lifetime. You know, like, you know, you spend 12 years watching television, five years in the bathroom, and all that sort of stuff. I mean, I find that stuff really fascinating. So we at Almost Live did some calculations and came up with some other statistics you might find interesting. Like, did you know that during their lifetime, the average Linwood woman will spend 11 years applying blush? <laughs> The average Kent resident will spend three years trying to figure out how to get tobacco stains out of the shag carpet. True. The average Kennedy will spend 14 years explaining how he didn't really do anything wrong. The average Seattle Mariner will spend eight years wondering what it sounds like when a bat hits a ball real hard. Eight years. The average Bellingham resident will spend 12 years in his van looking for his bandana, blinking and saying, whoa, whoa. The average golden retriever will spend 10 years wondering what's going on and is there a tennis ball involved. And finally, the average police officer will spend two years asking Dale Ellis to please step out of his vehicle. Just, just some averages in life. And whatever you choose to do, whatever activity you choose in life, remember to obey the rules, because if you don't, this guy goes to work. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by for Billy Kwan.